Hello friends, this video on constructions part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The topics to be covered in this chapter are introduction, basic constructions, some constructions of triangles and the summary. The first question that comes to our mind is why should we study constructions? We need construction if you want to actually draw the blueprint of a car or missiles or anything. You want to draw the architecture of the home, you want to draw the roads. Architecture, if you want to go into the architect field, construction is a must. So, with this introduction in mind, let's start the chapter. Before we start, you need to know what is compass, what is protractor, what is scale, and you'll have to use this. So, please uh, pause the video and pick these things from your bag and keep it handy. We'll use this for construction. The first thing we'll try is we have to construct the angle bisector of a given angle. If an angle is given, so let's suppose this angle is given to you and this let this angle be angle ABC and I have to draw angle bisector for this. So what we can do is we can draw an arc keeping this point, okay, the fixed point at point B and the length of uh, this compass we can make, I mean have some length and then we can just draw an arc which cuts this particular ray BA and BC at point let's suppose E and D. So once you have drawn this arc, now keeping and keeping the fixed point of the compass here, we will draw an arc like this. Similarly keeping a fixed point of the compass here, we will draw an arc like this of the same length. So this two arc which we draw should be of the same length and this will meet at a point this point now we will join this point b and the new point the new point let's suppose called f so now this angle angle f b c is you can say that angle f b c is half of angle a b c correct so what we did with b as the center and any radius we have drawn an arc which will intersect these two rays B, B, C and B at D and D. Once that is done, with D and E at the center, so the radius which is equal to little more than D by 2, we have drawn two arcs and which intersect at point F. Now we have joined this B and and that is the bisector. If you want, we can actually explain this. Okay. So if you see the triangle B, E, F, B, E, F, so let's join these points. Explain, let's join this point. Okay. So we'll take triangle BEF and triangle BEF. Explain this. So in these two triangles, if you see, let's draw this BEF and BDF. So EF will be equal to DF by because the same length. So EF is equal to DF. Similarly, B is equal to BD. Why? Because from this point we have drawn an arc, so these two are same length. So B is equal to D, BD. B is equal to BD. So let's uh, let's D here. Let's put that here. Okay. So B is equal to BD. Correct. B is equal to BD. And what about the third side BF? So if you see BF is a common side. So BF will be equal to BF. So the, both these triangles are congruent. Since these triangles are congruent, this angle B E B F, that is E B F, this angle will be equal to this angle. And this angle is nothing but D B F. So if you see D B F and E B F both are same. Okay, that is the explanation of this. Let's see how can we construct a perpendicular bisector of a given line segment. So this line segment and this point B and B. So we have to draw perpendicular bisectors. What we can do is we can uh, take compass and we'll take with A and B as center and we'll take the radius as uh, a more than AB by 2. We'll draw arc on both the sides. We'll draw arc, taking this as center, we'll draw an arc. Taking this as center will draw an R on this side. Similarly, taking this as center will draw an R. Taking B as center will draw an R. Which will intersect. So now these points, 
and I call it P and Q, let's suppose. Okay, now we can join these two points P and Q and this PQ, and let's put a point here M. So P and Q will be the perpendicular bisector for this line segment. If you want, we can go for an explanation. Let's join these points A, P, P, B, P, Q and A, Q for explanation. Now I will see that in this triangle P, A, Q and triangle P, B, Q, if we take these two big triangles, let's take these two big triangles. Okay, this is P, A, Q, and this is P, Q, B. If we take these two triangles, you'll see that, or oh, let's take in this fashion. So we'll see these triangles, we'll see that PA is equal to PB. Why? PA is equal to PB. Why? Because if you see all the arcs we have drawn with the same length, PA is equal to PB is equal to AQ is equal to QB. Put the same thing. PA is equal to PB is one. Also, BQ is equal to AQ. And PQ is a common side. Right? This is equal to this. This is equal to this and this is a common side. So those, these two triangles are congruent. So these two triangles are congruent. This angle APQ will be equal to angle BQ BPQ. Correct. So I can just say that triangle PBQ is congruent to triangle PAQ. Therefore angle APQ is equal to angle BP. Now, what we have to prove? We have to prove that this angle is 90 degree and AM is equal to B. That's what we have to prove. So let's take these two triangles. That is PMA and PMB. So let's take these two triangles. PMA and PMB. These two angles APQ or APM and BQP or BQM are equal. That is we have to prove. PM is equal to PM, that is a common side. And AP is equal to BP, we have just seen. So if you see by side angle side, side angle side, these two triangles are congruent. APM is congruent to triangle BPM by side angle side. So if you have doubts in the congruency, please watch my previous videos on the congruency. Right? Since these two triangles are congruent, I can say that AM is equal to BM. First part is true, that is their bisector. Okay, and what about perpendicular bisector? So we will see that this angle and this angle are same. Angle PMA is equal to angle PMB. These two angles are same. But some of these angles are what? 180. But angle PMA plus angle PMB is what? 180. Thus, angle PMA is what? 180. So what we have seen is logically we have proved that this angle is 90 degree and A is equal to MB. Thus, P and Q is actually perpendicular bisector of line segment A. Okay. Okay. So we have to construct an angle of 60 degree at a point of ray. So a line a ray is given and let's this be point A and this be point B. We have to construct an angle 60 degree. So what we can do is we can draw an arc here, and then from with A as a center, we will draw an arc, and then with the, let this be B actually. Let this be some X. Then with B as a center, we'll draw another arc which will cut the existing arc. Okay. And then we'll draw this line. So now angle. CAB will be 60 degree. Why? Because I can prove it also for you. See, AB is of some length. Let's suppose X. BC was also of same length. That is X. And this was also same length. That is X. Right? So all these lengths are same. That means it is an equilateral triangle. So if it is an equilateral triangle, this has to be 60 degree. So I drew a arc here. 
the same length I cut the arc here. So if you see this length, this length, and this length, all these three lengths are same. Correct? Let's draw a 90 degree. So to draw a 90 degree, it's pretty easy. You just take any point outside and draw a circle. Draw a circle which is touching this point. Okay, and let this be any point. Let this be x. Now draw a diameter. And from this point, let's see, this be C. Just join these points. This angle will be 90 degree. Logically, also if you see, this is a diameter and diameter and this is a circle. So diameter will actually subtend a 90 degree angle at a point on the arc. Okay. Let's draw for 45 degree. So for 45 degree, first let's draw 90 degree in the fashion we just draw. Now we can draw angle by sector. To draw angle by sector, what we can do is we can just draw an arc and then using this point I'll draw one more arc. Using this point, I'll draw one more arc. And these two arc cuts at this point. Now I'll join these two points and this is 45 degree. It is easy. Similarly, 30 degree, first draw 60 degree. So what we can do is this is a point A, this is a point X. So it will cut at point B. The same length at the BA center will draw more arc at contact C and then I will draw a line. So this angle will be 60 degree and now I will draw a bisector of this. So to draw a bisector of this, since this arc is already there, I can just draw with B as a center, I can draw an arc here. With C as a center, I can draw an arc here and let this arc meet at point E, let's suppose. And now I can join this A. So this angle will be 30 degree. Let's draw 15. So for 15, first let's draw 30. So once we are drawn with 30, what we can do is we can uh, take these two points. So you're taking this point and let this point be B, be A and B C. Let's suppose. So with B as center, we'll draw an arc here. With C as center, we'll draw an arc here. And now we'll and let this be B. Now we'll join this A. So A will be 30. Correct? Because we are drawing a bisector of this angle. This angle is 60. So first we drew 60 degree, then we drew a bisector of this angle, we got 30 degree, then we drew a bisector of this angle that is 15 degree. This angle is 30, and this whole angle is 60. Let's draw an equilateral triangle. It is actually easy, we have seen that. So from this point, let's this point A, we'll cut uh, an arc of the length of equilateral triangle we want, and then Using this point, I will use the compass and we'll draw another arc and let this point be C. We will join these two points and we'll join this point. So what we get is ABC is the equilateral triangle. All the angle is 60 degree, all the sides are of same length. Correct? Because we drew all, you see, from this as a point, we have drawn this arc. Right? So AC and AB are the same. Now with B as center, we have drawn this arc. So BC will also be equal to AB. All these three sides are equal in length. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.